In this world of communications and surrounded with gadgets and electronics, Dr. Rajiv Ranjan Singh becomes very, very important for us. Yes, he is a program chair for uh, electronics and communication. And in this part of Todi Presidency, we will be asking him to take us on a tour of what the ECE labs are all about. So let us walk into his cabin. And uh, of course, he is a multi-talented person because he's he's done a a lot of research and he's also made sure he's he's done a, a lot of research in terms of electronics and communications to make it very easy for the students as well Raju sir happy to be talking to you and first and foremost i know what the achievement lists that we were talking about a few days ago that i saw you that you know you you've gone ahead to other colleges also uh, on on your research and made sure you have that in depth knowledge of the subject so can you just please take us on on what is the research behind that you actually kind of doing it okay thanks for the opportunity shall i remove this yes yes please please okay, yes okay yes. thanks for the opportunity so um, actually i work in variable computing domain okay. where uh, people would design variable computers that means computers that will be worn on the body okay. for example this is a very uh, you can say challenging and growing field okay. where variable computers are going to help a person who are suffering from some kind of illness right. some kind of health related issues and variable health monitoring is going to be the future because there are a lot of advancements that has happened in this field okay. with the miniaturization of uh, integrated circuits oh. so our students if they are uh, having knowledge in this domain they are going to get lot of opportunities in job market and you will be happy to know that we have recently introduced one specialization in ai and variable technology okay. in our ec department okay. other than we have our uh, major as electronics and communication engineering but we have two more specializations which is uh, ai and variable technology and embedded systems and vlsi this is for btech students okay. we do have mtech programs also in which we have uh, mtech in embedded system and vlsi domain so in which uh, the second batch is running right now as you know our university is just 5 years yes, old yes, yes, right yes. so one batch has passed out and uh, they are appearing for various placement seasons and um, they are uh, doing well Lovely. and uh, third semester for second batch is going on they are also doing very good in this particular uh, Uh, i mean field of uh, right, embedded right. system and vlsi yeah also also uh, rajiv ji i want to know more of you and uh, also not uh, we, we will be sitting at one place we will also be going on a tour since you told me to uh, take you to the labs yes. uh, i would like to brief uh, uh, you about our faculty strength right, right. right now we have uh, total 41 faculty members okay. and they are uh, from very good universities like iits okay. nits bits okay. pilani oh and uh, there are so many things uh, which i can tell you when we move yes on. yes definitely we'll keep moving to the lab as well yeah. and uh, sir basically what about uh, your uh, area of uh, strength of course of course is all the all the things that that you've given us but please tell us mm. how was your college life how was your schooling and where did you finish that from uh, actually i completed my phd from bits pilani i had been working there for 14 years i worked in the triple e department at bits pilani okay and then later on with a um, i had a small stay okay. uh, maybe for 10 months uh, in jklu uh, jaipur okay. after that i joined here right, right. and uh, maybe uh, you will be surprised to know that i am one of the uh, old employees of uh, <laughs> presidency right, i right, joined right. here in 2015 december right. december 2015 since then i am here and uh, initially uh, i was taking care of the department oh lovely yeah. lovely so, so if i'm not wrong yeah. uh, you are from bengal no no i am right? from jharkhand oh, okay okay <laughs> right so 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 tell us something about your childhood days there because being here as the oldest employee that happiness and fun of course but how were how was that childhood days in in jharkhand see you can't uh, bring back your uh, childhood right yeah. i was actually uh, you can say brought up in bokaro steel city oh okay of jharkhand which is a major steel city people know that uh, steel authority of india limited right. that has set up a uh, plant during nehru era right, right, that plant right. recently uh, okay. provided lot of uh, oxygen uh, to all parts of india you would oh. have seen several trains were running yes, from there yes, right yes so um yeah i 
was uh, right. there and i did my schooling there right. later on my father got transferred to one of the subordinate place of bokaro steel city okay. that was in my uh, you can say home district okay. that was known as that is known as bhonatpur township okay. and there i spent my uh, matriculation and i did my matriculation so you can say that the transition started from there yes. and i have very good memories of uh, that particular town okay. that is known as bhonatpur township okay. i had uh, spent lot of uh, good time there right. that i can't forget right. so that is still Uh, yeah, yeah in the heart maybe yeah yes, yes. <laughs> i would acknowledge all the people who were from bhonatpur township yes. because uh, <laughs> uh, they are still my friends oh, right so and sweet. we have a family still we are in touch with each other oh that's so sweet that's so sweet so you kind of gave a big summary and a small tribute also for your family and friends yes. back back home that i can't forget yeah very true very true and also now it is actually the time that you know we enter the place the happening place for you in in presidency university the the communications and uh, you know electronics laboratories that we have what are we what is the lab that we are entering this sir this is actually analog electronics lab yes. and linear yes. integrated circuit lab right. where you can see a uh, state of the art bench equipments we have right, right? as you can see here okay. that this is having all kinds of uh, measuring uh, you can say equipments that is integrated into this particular workbench itself okay. besides this you can keep computers here okay. so if you have simulation based experiments that can also be done here right, right? right. and if yeah. you want to uh, connect discrete components then you have power supply is available here right. you have ammeters voltmeters yes. yes. then you have uh, you can say power supply function generators oscilloscopes everything is there all electronics basic electronics related equipment is integrated so this was my idea that why not put everything together and we found one company who supplied this wow. so it is since inception wow. this lab is there fantastic and i'm sure that you know uh, you you should not be uh, waiting for somebody to start something and you you should be the one who is starting something and you being one of the oldest employees at presidency university i think this this initiation should have given you immense happiness isn't it correct correct so you are very uh, true in that sense right. that uh, I feel very happy for presidency yes. since beginning I am there and I have been serving yes. um for the university since uh, the inception of uh, this university as well as department yes. and uh, the faith which has been reposed by the management I am thankful to them yes. right and um, as you can see all our employees be it faculty members or lab instructors or any other supporting staff yes. all are honestly contributing to the progress of department Fantastic. right and that is uh, uh, going to take it forward yeah. uh, that's what i believe 100% and and something something that uh, is 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 actually uh, you know uh, pushing me to ask probably you should be the right man uh, to say that something about uh, our uh, chancellor sir dr nisar ahmed because you've seen him the most than any faculty has seen Correct. tell us something because he doesn't talk much he is not he is the man of his words and you know he he is not that you know who who keeps talking he is he believes in action that's what i have seen <laughs> okay but what what have you come across him as a person see uh, talking much is not required right. what you have to convey should be conveyed yes. and our sir is uh, very good at it correct <laughs> <laughs> no need to no need to say anything about sir yeah. because he is a very kind person gentleman and he understands things very fast yeah. see uh, i have attended one or two meetings uh, that i recollect that every minute points yeah. he will be remembering yeah. and immediately he will pinpoint that what is this what is that and he will have an explanation for each and every aspect that is going on yeah. so that actually uh, see a leader should be like that Very okay right so i i think the words are not coming <laughs> to me uh, how to explain it so 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 overwhelming definitely for for the support uh, <laughs> yeah. project uh, these particular uh, boards which yes, are yes. Uh, you can see uh, experiment boards are there so there are two ways of doing experiments okay. using either these kind of experiment boards for a particular uh, you can say experiment right. or they will uh, assemble it on a breadboard mm -hmm. so on that breadboard they will do it discreetly right connections will be given from this with the help of wires and connectors right, right? right. and then the experiment will be performed right. finally they will take the reading and the instructor will be uh, evaluating so this Fantastic. is the process that's going on here 
and this laboratory is mostly utilized because uh -huh. um, second year onwards our own students start coming into this lab ah that that is what it is that is what is required and also after this lab what is the next lab that we'll be going into and also all this is definitely be you know made sure that students get the most out of it isn't right. it sir so so what will be the next lab that we're getting into next lab we are going to uh that digital electronics lab analog communication yeah. digital communication so that is upstairs at yes. first floor yes we will go there definitely and and also the world is now running on digital so let us be digital and make sure we are present right there so digital communication lab and analog communication lab so rajan sir how important is this lab for all our students see this gives the fundamentals of analog communication and digital okay. communication right okay. Okay. so basically the signal okay. they are present in analog form right, right? right. but for faster processing and uh, other features which we want to do uh, digital communication is also important so right. we have right. both analog digital communication lab besides this in the same partition you can see we have digital electronics lab also oh, right. so this is for uh, second year students okay so when they will come for digital electronics as you can see there are a lot of connectors available okay. and there will be uh, cords available power cords okay. using which they will connect the ic's here and they will connect to those particular pins right. because these are internally connected to those pins so this is a zif socket okay we will just uh, use the lever to uh, actually connect that ic and put it down oh, so then nice. the ic will be fixed here nice. they can just do the experimentation nice. and verify the circuit operation that is for digital electronics yes, yes. likewise we have yeah. um this is for digital communication okay this is for digital communication so dsb ssb amplitude modulation okay. experimental box is there right. or you can say kit is there right, right, similarly right. this one right right so transmitter and receiver both are there okay and uh, from there okay uh, as you can see we have analog communication lab that okay. is coming there okay so um this two kits okay we have displayed as of now sir sir if i'm if i'm not uh, you know wrong enough in asking this right. can you please tell us what is this each worth i mean in terms of money <laughs> the overall cost of dc lab is close to 26 lakhs approximately 26 lakhs Whoa. we have spent on only okay. dc lab okay. now you have several labs like this right. so you can estimate the value of each lab uh, sir i don't want to estimate <laughs> <laughs> right. no because no the reason why i ask that is because right. so much equipments is for the betterment of the students that they will be coming into our presence university right. and so much advantages you know all the all the new students and all the existing students will probably get it sir also please tell us uh, any student taking up these things after he passes out of the of the course okay where he can find himself in in the job uh, and and where he can find his living see uh, this is a very important question which you have asked finally we have to place our students yes. to good companies yes. right yes. and uh, you will be happy to know that recently our students have been placed in two big companies yes. one is cape gemini yes. another one is emphasis yes. recently they have been placed yes. and uh, still the placement season is going on yes. right number one number two uh, we in order to support the students right. we are organizing lot of uh, you can say knowledge dissemination activities right. like we are organizing webinars right. then we conducted fdps for faculty right. Right. we are going to have hackathon for students right, right? right. this semester we have planned right. and right. our student will be first screen here okay. then they are going to participate to iits various yes. iits yes. so a team we have formed this team is taking care of such type of activities Fantastic. in this october we have planned three uh webinars from eminent speakers from various uh, you can say domains mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. right from uh, industry right. from uh, universities right. Uh, right sir have you have you ever felt when 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 you were studying in your college uh, life and all that right. all sort of this, this this sort of placement stuff this sort of training for students did we somewhere miss out that <laughs> <laughs> see things change with time yeah. right and uh, we need to you can say adapt or adjust yeah. 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 with the time right with time right so the, in current times everything is market oriented what we have to do is as an university 
we need to uh, train our students enable our students in such a way that they are going to face the world right and things are moving very faster within two years you will see the technology changes right yes, yes, so we are yes. taking care of all such uh, changes that is happening for example that ai and variable technology i told yes. you will be surprised to know that uh, i started uh, working in this area long back mm -hmm. and um, completed my phd in this area mm -hmm. but still there is no uh, you can say killer application that's available nowadays in market so students have mm -hmm. still opportunity to explore this area mm -hmm. and uh, devise applications uh, products right so that uh, they will be known everywhere so um, that, that's what is the um, you can say projections i have what i feel is we should uh, enable our students they should be uh, facing any kind of challenges that comes their way right so uh, st starting from the foundation level courses till the advanced level courses everything we are going to offer we offer courses in iot we offer courses in vlsi we offer courses in embedded system we offer courses in all aspect of ec uh, so uh, you have as i showed to you analog communication digital communication then we have rf microwave antenna and new faculty members which are joining they are coming from varied backgrounds like we have faculty members those who have specialization in mems oh, okay. uh, yeah mems and uh, nanotechnology yeah. right so what i can say is uh, we are working towards uh, strengthening the department uh, you can say knowledge or ip level right ip level that, yes. that's a nice term right right yeah, fantastic level is uh, yes, important very important yeah very important nowadays and yeah. so that we can um, enable our students to uh, face the world so basically what we are trying to do is we are trying to make the students ready for the industry yes. that is the that is the whole motto of us sir fantastic tour about about your department and labs but before i let you go on the video sir is there any app that um, you are waiting for it to be created on a personal terms like for example right. i need an app mm -hmm. which will say okay when will the petrol prices go down <laughs> <laughs> our students have developed several things for example i remember one student showed to me uh, what he did all my lectures he put in one app oh yes or or Last or muft mein sabko dikha diya yes yes <laughs> we shared with all the students so whenever they wanted to refer my notes oh, nice. they will just go to that app and my notes are available sir aapne uska ip liya ki nahi uska ipo banaya ki nahi oh, please huh? there's a there's a lot of share market riding on it huh, sir credit goes to the student so sweet sir so sweet so so like this there is a lot of innovations happening sir on a personal note okay any app that that is waiting for you from your heart which has to be generated which Something which you are waiting i would like to have in variable domain oh yes oh, and you don't you don't want to let that secret yes, go yes yes <laughs> thank so, you so yeah. uh, i invite some students to join with me for project are there you go that's a open invitation bye sir so please sir it was fantastic uh, to talk to you and to look at your labs and whatever you are doing to make the uh, betterment for the future of the students it's fantastic thank you so much for your time i conclude yeah, yeah. i would yeah. like to show some of yes. our staffs right. miss sunandana okay okay she is our lab instructor and okay. some more are there because they have lab yes, right yes, now so yes, they are busy yes, with yes. that So, so see, their yeah. their contribution I can't ignore. Ah, yeah, very true, very true. As as backbone. Actually, right. as for the faculties, the lab instructors become the another backbone for all the students because they are interacting with the students day in and day out. And uh, whatever app that we spoke about, yeah, it will happen through them also. Yes, <laughs> yes. So the credit uh, should yes, be given yes. to them also. Fantastic, sir. Thank you so much, sir, for all this. And and please keep watching our uh, Presidency University's official YouTube channel for more videos. And this was one part of Tordi Presidency. Thank you so much.